Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. We're back for another exciting episode of Measuring Dev Skills with Code Signal. Uh, it's been a little while and today we're looking at something quite a bit different from a lot of the previous ones we've looked at in the past. So you might be looking at this and thinking, what am I even looking at? I'm used to seeing like an IDE, like a code window for a code signal type of task. So this is a little less familiar. And yeah, that's true. This is a different style of task. This is called a free form or free text task. And basically the idea is this is if we wanted to give the candidate some sort of larger project. So some recruiters are interested in seeing how a candidate is going to deal with something that has a variety of files, maybe something that's that's not uh, particularly well suited to doing within an online browser based IDE. Uh, so in that case, uh, we might have something like this, you know, where they need to do some sort of manipulation on some uh, CSV files, do some sort of data analysis, and then maybe, you know, write a report on their findings and that sort of thing, where it's not expected to necessarily look at all of their code, but mainly how they deal with the insights and those kinds of things. So if it's the case that the task isn't particularly well suited to an online IDE, uh, you might be thinking, well, why not just use email or something like that? You know, why not just send it directly to the candidate? And well, one of the answers, one of the main advantages to doing it this way is that it allows us to set a time limit on the task. So that's good, not just because, you know, it adds a potential element of pressure onto the candidate, but also just because in the in the interest of a good candidate experience, we don't want them spending too, too much time on something like this, especially if they're not going to end up getting the job in the end. We don't want anyone to feel disappointed or anything like that. Uh, so that can be a very advantageous thing for a good candidate experience. Uh, it also allows us to just attach files so we could download these files directly from our code signal server here. Uh, there's greater consistency this way. Let's say if you're using code signal for some other part of the candidate evaluation. So even if it's just a couple of multiple choice questions or something like that. And then of course, uh, the other advantage to something like this is it easily supports markdown. So we could paste in something like this, just sort of demonstrating how it allows us to just easily write this stuff out. I mean, there's an editor here as well that we could use. Uh, if we're unfamiliar with Markdown, but this is a nice standard way to do something like this. So uh, even for tasks that don't involve like uh, a code window, even for something that doesn't really involve necessarily like running tests or, or things like that, even for this kind of take home style of project, uh, code signal can definitely be a, a workable solution there. Anyway, I think that's about all I had to say about this one. Sorry, this wasn't a, a very long episode, but uh, yeah, tune in again next week for another one of these measuring dev skills with code signal episode. Uh, see you later. <laughs>